Hi, I'm Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV and I'm going to teach you how to take the ultimate bridal portrait. The truth is, I do this shot at every single one of my weddings. Why? <laughs> one, it's fun. Two, it's easy. And three, I think my clients want it. I'm pretty sure they want it. They actually do mention that they want it. They see me post the picture, they see it in my albums. Oh, I'm sure I have a picture, like right here somewhere, of the photo I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, I just gave myself a hernia. Ah, there it is. All right, so this is similar to the Ultimate Bridal Portrait, but what I'm gonna show you is what I did with the Canon 1DX Mark III when I was able to shoot that. And if you wanna learn more about the Canon 1DX Mark III, definitely check out David Bergman's video here on Adorama TV about that. Anyway, we shot a lot. So we did a lot of Ultimate Bridal Portraits, but here's the gist of it. You wanna have that veil just flying. And it doesn't matter if they have a blusher over it, you just wanna create that bridal essence, if you will. I enjoy shooting this with either the 50 millimeter 1.2, by the way, it'd be fine with a 1.4 or even a 1.8, or the 85 millimeter lens. I like those focal lengths because they're flattering for my brides, but they also allow for the veil as it comes towards the camera, we'll get to veil position in a minute, to blur out and become very, very dreamy. I'm giving away a camera. We're giving away a Canon camera, a Profoto A1X, a copy of my book, and a copy of Capture One version 20. There are lots of ways to enter, so make sure that you do. Check the link below and come back daily for new ways to enter this contest. I typically photograph the bride next to a window when I'm doing this. A nice big window is going to give me a lovely soft light and then sometimes I'll throw a reflector on the other side just to soften it. I like to have a window fairly close and then she's a little bit back from the window, just creating a nice soft big light for her to work with. It's bridal, it's whimsical, it's dreamy, so might as well have light that matches that feeling. And I take the veil, I lift it up. Sometimes I put it right over my head and just kind of leave it there. And then with my hands, like work my, my <laughs> angles and making sure that the veil is in a perfect spot where you're not getting any harsh lines that are, that are showing up, but really just flowing out from around her face. Using a rule of thirds is nice. If you're kind of having her towards one side, you can really exaggerate the way that the veil looks, or you can put it right into the center of the frame and have the veil coming out from all around. Ideally, a little bit lower of an aperture is preferred so that all of the veil blurs and the attention and the focus just goes straight to your bride's eye. It's also really important to have a somewhat higher shutter speed because if you're holding a veil with one hand and holding a camera with another, you're probably gonna have a little bit of camera shake. You're not super stable in that position that you should have while you're holding a camera. I'll probably make a video on that at some point. So lower aperture, higher shutter speed, and then setting your ISO where it needs to be to compensate for both of those things. Hopefully you're working with a camera that lets you have the freedom to do that and go a little bit higher if you need. After that, I can just play. So in this circumstance, we played with the veil edging and the scalloping being right in front of her eye. We played with different hand positions and just really had fun with it. It's a pretty easy setup when you get down to it. Just a few little things like knowing where your aperture and shutter should be and finagling the veil to get it to do what you want. Looking for some inspiration? Then make sure you download my free posing inspiration guide. It's full of ideas for individuals, couples, and groups. Grab it in the link below. I hope you've enjoyed the ultimate bridal portrait and definitely give it a try. Uh, don't worry, you're not stealing it from me. I mean, you are, but you know, whatever. Make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything here on Adorama TV.